quick update on this Chrysler or this Dodge. It's a 55 and I was able to get the door open. So, be able to, well, shoot, there we go. This car is all here. This is definitely, I mean, it's got a hole in the floor down there, but I mean, it's all here. 100% shifter right down there on the bottom base of the column, that little handle. This back seat still in it. Anyway, I want to throw that in there. And this is its sister, a 56 Lancer Coronet. And this car is pretty much all there. Uh, the chrome is on the back in the in in the car and uh, in the trunk. But it's got some cool chrome on it too. This is a 56. And listen, don't forget to subscribe, share, and like if uh, you're enjoying any of these videos. Check out the inside of this one. Dash is pretty good shape. I can't open the doors in this, but it's got a big hole in the window, so. Back seat is gone. And this has got the motor in it, and that 55's got the uh, small Hemi in it. Here's a 68 Mustang. A little Studebaker next to it. And the Hudson next to it. I had a 68 when I was a kid. Um, the 68s had the, uh, the funny horn buttons on it. And I remember, here, here's the horn button right here. I remember popping this thing off and feeding pot up inside that to hide the weed <laughs> back in the day. Funny, I was about, uh, I don't know, I guess I was about 19 back then. But mine was a nice little car. Uh, I paid $75 for it. My transmission had gone in my 72 Grand Prix at the time. I was working for my boss, of course, and uh, he asked me if I need a car for now. I says, yeah. He says, well, his girlfriend had one for sale. It was a 68 Mustang with a 289 in it. I says, well, geez, how much? He said, $75. I said, does it run? He says, he says yeah, she drives it every day to work. I says, do, he says, do you want it? I says, yeah, I'll take it. So she brought it down that night, drove it into the parking lot, stopped, parked it there, and I drove it home that night. $75, $289. Of course, when she drove it, she babied it. So it was all loaded up. The thing wouldn't get over 50 miles an hour. I took it up on the highway and cleaned it out. And that thing, boy, I have to do some smoke shows with that car. This is a Hudson. I don't know what year it is. It's in the 50s, I guess. <clears throat> Another smashed window we get to peek in. Oh, that's a cool dash. Look at that Look at that radio. It says Hudson right on the top of it. Can you see it? That's cool. That is awesome. That's a good looking dash. Back seat, I mean, it, it, the interior needs work, the seats and stuff, uh, but it's a cool looking car. Back window's out of it. I feel like I'm in a jungle over here. I forget what he told me this was. A Hudson, uh, Hudson Hawk maybe? Yeah, I think he said it was a Hudson Hawk. Let's see if this door opens. Oh yeah, all right. Yeah, no, it's a Hudson Hornet. That's what he said. Oh, Hudson Hornet. Look at that radio now. That's nice. That's a good looking dash. I mean, I can enjoy driving this car when it was new, probably. Obviously, no probably about it. Been sitting here a while though. Let's go over here to this 
49 Chevy. <clears throat> it needs a grill. Fender's been smacked. They look solid. No rust, I mean. But they're beat up pretty good. Uh, dash is in it. Of course, the radio's not. Heater core's gone. Seats are gone. Back window's broken. It's all flat glass. Oh, here's a seat right here. Yeah, that's the seat for it. Old uh, step side. 49 step side. See if I can get around this sucker. <clears throat> Again, please subscribe, share, and like if you're enjoying these videos at all. Now, back in the day, the car right here, I bought, I almost bought me one. This is a 73 uh, Mustang. Nice V8 in it, supposedly runs. Um, but back in the 80s, quarter panel's bad. Back in the 80s, oh, this is a Mach 1. But back in the 80s, I could have bought a 71 Mach. Running car. Ugh. For $1,000, and I turned it down because I thought it was a lot of money. <laughs> and to me, it was a lot of money back then, but the car was gorgeous. It didn't have a bit of nothing on it. No rust, no nothing. It was just a nice car. I knew the guy who owned it. He offered it to me for a grand. And I turned him down like a dummy. But this needs a windshield, a hood. Oh, it's got the old, old Ram Ram Air hood on it, but it's bad. Look at how bad this hood is. Yeah, it's beat up pretty good. But yeah, it's not a bad car. A little bit of money fixed that thing right up.